Hi, this is Mamik. Hollow Knight has 97% positive reviews at Steam, among over 200,000 reviews. It's up there with Half-Life 2, the blueprint of the AAA titles. The initial title of this video was Why Hollow Knight is Operated. But after watching tons of reviews, I realized it's not overrated. There was something going on more than that. By the way, the reviews that I saw were surprisingly similar with my thought, except the title was like Why Hollow Knight is God Sent or something. Let's talk about great stuff first. The graphic is smooth and vivid. There are many types of enemies and they have distinctive properties. The control is reflexive and instant. If you hit something, it feels like hitting something. My one minor complaint is, you cannot cancel while healing. Frankly speaking, this is the most important aspect of platformer game. So what is the problem? First, Hollow Knight have Dark Soul-like system. You should fight your soul to retrieve your soul. If you die before you retrieve your soul, you will lose all your money, which called Geo. Second, you should buy the map. Third, you should find the checkpoint also. Both are well hidden in the undiscovered area. Fourth, you can only update the map on checkpoint. The synergy of this combination is unbelievable. If you enter new area, you wouldn't find map seller nor checkpoint, because it is hidden. You go deeper and deeper. At this point, you are destined to die. After you died, what would you do? You know you should find the map seller first, but there wasn't one on your last course. However, you have no choice but go to the exact same route to retrieve your soul. Exploring without a map is frustrating, but it can be fun. The problem is, backtracking is not exploring, and it is the last thing you want to do in the game. You are forced to do this very inefficient and time-consuming process repeatedly. Did I compliment about many enemy types? Some of them cannot be bypassed. Some of them even takes time to kill. Cautiously backtracking step by step again and again. It sounds wonderful, isn't it? At this point, you rather embark new exploration. Just fuck Geo and move on. Still, there is fifth problem. This one is the most obnoxious thing in the game. The checkpoint itself. There are places you likely die a lot. It could be a boss fight or a really hard platform. Most games give you checkpoint right before this happens. Only thing you can expect from Hollow Knight is the malice of the developer. Yes, Hollow Knight punishes you being bad. The penalty is backtracking, which means time. Even if you are not good at game, it doesn't mean you are an idiot. You will find a way to solve this problem. You can restart the last checkpoint with full health if you reload the game from the main menu. So what is going to be playing Hollow Knight like? First, you explore the area. If you feel you failed to find the map seller, reload the game and take different path. You found map seller this time? Still reload the game to update the map and try to find a new area or possible shortcut. Congratulations! Now you are the master of getting in and out in between game and the main menu. What kind of fucked up game experience is this? Why don't you just make in-game teleportation to last checkpoint? I encountered bugs at times. I tried to cross the other side, but it was quite hard so I failed and died. I felt like I couldn't do it, so I decided to take a detour. Before the detour, I got back to the place to get my soul. Surprise! My soul crossed to the other side of the platform successfully that I failed to reach. This might be a bug, or is this the part of the punishment? Either way, only I can do is fuck Geo and move on. This could take tons of grind. But like I said, this game punishes you by wasting your time. Get good. Everyone says this game is not for everybody, and definitely not. But Steam Review says the otherwise. So what happened? If you are a gamer, you know AAA titles are boring. Not bad, not excellent, just boring. 
Even if you play brand new AAA title, you would feel like you already played this game some time ago. Then Hollow Knight happened. This broken or malicious features of the game captured people. It awkward long lost sensation of the playing game. But why Hollow Knight? There are so many compelling indie titles. They don't get 97% positive review. Here is the irony. When you play Hollow Knight for the first time, it doesn't feel new. You already know how to play this kind of game. It is really polished, just like AAA title. It is all familiar until you face the menacing features. You may rage quit game, but next day you are thinking, maybe this is how game should be. You blame yourself not the game. Why? At least it made you feel something. This could be the answer of the RAIM AAA titles. Hollow Knight has become antithesis of the AAA title because of its familiar feature. I'm the only one who dare blame the Hollow Knight. If you want to thoughtfully design the platformer game, you'd rather play Ori and the Blind Forest. If you want challenging exploration, there is Rain World. If you want awesome boss fight, From Software always welcomes you. Hollow Knight is a mixture of those games on philosophy of getting over it. It designed to hurt you. While getting over it reveals its own malice out loud, Hollow Knight tricks you with familiar gameplay and laughs at you menacingly later. It seems Hollow Knight already has become the blueprint of the indie game success. After a few years, somebody might play Hollow Knight like game and say it's all same and boring. It's irony, isn't it? Thanks for watching. You can download as many as you want now. If that's not enough, leave a comment.